In today's video, we're discussing how to make your aquarium look better. We have some general suggestions and ideas that are pretty simple and cheap to implement, which could really put your aquarium over the top in terms of aesthetics and just looking great. Can't wait to walk through this one, so let's dive right in. So this list today will be about seven different tips that can make your aquarium look better. We keep mostly cichlid tank setups, but a lot of these tips will apply to any aquariums, whether they're nano tanks, saltwater tanks, basically any type of tank setup. Also just wanted to mention that these are pretty subjective tips and they're based on our own opinions, being in the hobby for quite a long time now. So you can either take our opinion or leave it. It's obviously your aquarium, do what you want, but I think some of these tips are pretty universal in terms of making your aquarium look better. So let's get into that first tip, which is adding a background to your aquarium. I think this is an absolute must for any aquarium, whether that's a cichlid tank or something else, either going with a solid blue or black background. It can really add a great aesthetic to your tank. The main benefit is that it hides any of the cords or equipment that's hanging off the back of your tank, and it can hide the wall behind the tank itself. You could have a awesome looking tank set up, but if you don't have a background, you could see all those cords and that equipment and it's really just not aesthetically pleasing. I personally like black backgrounds on all my tanks because it does a little bit better job of covering up any types of algae on the back panel of the glass, whereas some of your blue backgrounds can show some of that algae, and it doesn't hide your equipment like heaters or hang on the back filters quite as much, whereas that black on black, basically it's hidden. This is one of the easiest and cheapest ways to make your aquarium look better. You can get this plain background almost anywhere at your big box stores, and they're really cheap and easy to apply. Not only hides your equipment, it covers up that algae, and it makes your aquascape and your fish pop in color just a bit more. One of the fish I show a lot on this channel is the electric blue acara, and look how great they look with that back background behind them. So that's the cheap option for a background. If you wanted to go a little more expensive and cost isn't as much of an issue, you could go to something like Aqua Decor Backgrounds and they can make a really cool custom background for your tank. My brother Alec just did that for his Lake Malawi Predator Hap tank and that background looks incredible. It not only has that black background in the middle which gives a lot of depth and draws your eyes into the aquarium, but it also has the really natural looking aquascape with those handmade custom inserts on the background. There's also some other added benefits to that which we'll talk through later on in the video. Okay, so our second tip today is one that might be a bit more subjective and you may not agree with me, but that is to get rid of your bubbler and get rid of any bubbles in your tank. Another one of my personal pet peeves is just seeing bubbles coming up, whether it's from an under gravel filter, a sponge filter, or just an air stone in the tank. It doesn't look natural and you can get away without an air bubbler if you just add a wave maker to your tank. If you add that wave maker and you angle it upwards towards your aquarium surface, it's getting the same job done of oxygenating your water by creating that surface agitation. Allowing for that gas exchange does the same exact thing as those air bubbles, and you don't have that unnatural source of bubbles coming up in your tank. The wave maker also will provide extra benefit of circulation in your tank, preventing any debris accumulating on your tank, making it look even better so it has multiple benefits, whereas an air stone or sponge filter in your display tank can really take away from the overall aesthetic. I'll leave a link in the upper right hand corner to a video we just did on wave makers if you're interested in that, but it's really a good option if you don't like to see those bubbles coming up in your tank. And this kind of leads into the third tip, which is hiding any and all equipment in your aquarium. So we already talked about how the background can kind of hide some of the filters and cords in your tank. And if you remove your bubblers and air stones, that's another source of equipment that are out of your tank. You also have things like your heaters, your thermometers, your filter input and outputs. And hiding this equipment will go a very long way to making your tank look better. Using my 180 gallon aquarium here as an example, I do have two 300 watt heaters and I really didn't want to see that when I was looking directly at the tank. So I positioned those two heaters on the left and right side directly behind the big pieces of driftwood I have. This basically hides both heaters and I don't see them when I'm looking directly at the tank. And also the black background blends in with the rest of the heaters and equipment. So it's really hard to see that I have any type of filtration, heating, or any other equipment in this tank. So this is another really cheap and easy solution to making your tank look better 
you can simply move the equipment around that you already have to just hide it a little bit better. Whether you have a big fake plant or big piece of driftwood, position it in front of the filter input, not too close to block the input, but angled in a way that you're not staring at that filter input all the time. Even the wave maker that I just talked about, you can put in the back right corner of your tank and angle it to the middle and upper areas of your tank, and you could hardly even see that in your aquarium. And then using Alex Aquarium as another example, you could get a 3D background that has custom inserts for some of your equipment. If you look at his tank, it's really hard to find any type of equipment other than maybe the filter output from his FX6. But in the back two corners of this 3D background, there are little cutouts where you can put your heaters, your filter inputs, and any other equipment that can be completely hidden from your tank. I think that's an underrated aspect of his new 220 gallon custom aquarium. So again, if you wanna go a little more expensive, you could get that 3D background to kind of hide the equipment, or you could simply move it around in your tank using your tank decor to block it from sight. And then lastly, even the filters going over the top of your tank or even your tank light, if you have an LED strip, you could get a canopy for your tank, which can also hide some of this equipment and dole out any of the noise from some of the filters or anything else on your tank. And speaking of lighting, that is the number four tip on this list, is just to control your lighting and make sure you're using the settings that should be applied to your tank. You don't need a very expensive light to achieve this. Most of your mid-tier lights even will come with a controller where you can turn down the brightness or tweak the colors just a bit. When it comes to your African cichlids like peacocks and buna or haps, I really like to add a little more blue light when it comes to your lighting, but when it comes to South American cichlids, I like to add a little white or yellow lighting to make it look a little more natural to their environment. Especially when it comes to American cichlids, they are much more comfortable when they don't have a very bright light shining on them at all times. By dimming the light, it not only makes the tank look more natural, it makes your fish more comfortable, likely more colored up, and it will reduce the amount of algae that builds up in your tank. It's really a win-win. The only thing to keep in mind here is if you have a really big aquascape with a ton of live plants that are high light, you may need to keep those light settings higher, but in most cases, I think you're totally safe to dim those lights a little bit, using a little more blue light with your Africans, using a little more yellow and white light with your American cichlids, and I think it really adds to the tank setup there. And we talked a little bit about making your tank look a little more natural, and that's the fifth tip here, is just your aquascape in general. I've really grown to appreciate the natural type of setup up for your aquarium, not only for the benefits it provides the fish with mimicking their natural environment, but it's also more of a real slice of life in your aquarium, in your home. Many years ago, I had the ancient ruins theme and I thought that was very cool and sometimes people have the pirate ship or the shipwreck. And not to say you're wrong if you have that type of decor in your tank, but generally, I really like the natural aquascape much more. I'd rather have driftwood, sand, rocks, and some live plants versus those man-made products and throwing them in your tank. Obviously, if you have a tank set up that's made for your kid and they're really excited because they have a SpongeBob decoration in their tank, I'm not saying not to do that. I'm just saying eventually you might grow into that more natural aquascape, and that's what I like, so that's why I'm recommending it here. And then the last thing in this category is I strongly recommend adding live plants to your tank. It not only makes your tank look natural, but it provides benefits to your aquarium by removing nitrates that would build up in your tank. Obviously when it comes to cichlids, like your African cichlids, or some of your bigger South American cichlids like a Severum, they may destroy or eat any live plants you put in the tank. And in that case, I would recommend fake plants so you could also have that natural looking scape and not worry too much about your plants being destroyed. Either way, I would recommend sand, driftwood, rocks, live or fake plants in any type of American cichlid tank setup. And then I would do your research on the type of African cichlids you have and maybe keep that scape more minimal if you have peacocks and haps. And then the next tip on this list is just to make sure you're keeping your tank clean. This is another very simple and cheap option if you're just staying on top of your maintenance. This could be as simple as wiping down your glass of algae with some type of flipper or magnet scraper, or wiping off fingerprints or watermarks with maybe Fritz glass cleaner. These very simple steps will go a long way of making sure your tank looks great. I can't tell you how many tanks I've seen out there that would look amazing if I didn't see fingerprints or smudges on the outside of the glass. It's really one of the easiest things to fix. So if you're doing that, it really makes your tank stand out and it's really not that hard to do, so why not? And on a similar note, one thing that will make any tank stand out is if you have crystal clear aquarium water. This could be a whole other subject, but just a real quick rundown of how to achieve crystal clear water. 
The main thing is to have adequate filtration and having good mechanical filtration in your filters. Making sure that any particles or debris in your tank is being filtered properly. And then when you combine it with something like chemical filtration, whether that's Seachem Purigen or our favorite is Kimi Pure Blue, that can really add the cherry on top and make your water crystal clear. And then rolling into those last two tips is just your general maintenance on the tank, making sure that you're cleaning your filters regularly, you're keeping up with your water changes. All of those things will contribute to a clean looking tank and your water looking crystal clear. And if you'd like more tips on how to keep your water looking crystal clear, check out this video. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you next time.